This is already going. Walk away for five minutes. Kaboom. <laughs> All right. This is at the first target. <laughs> interesting all right this is what I'm doing there's nothing else to do I don't like anything else interestingly enough the banks oh well WFC was gapping down now it's gapping up the funny thing was I saw the gap down and I thought this isn't a short it's a long and now it's gapping up so it's definitely a long the banks are longs I thought it was weird that they didn't gap up but now they are <laughs> So there you have it. Well, for some reason, if GME doesn't set up correctly as a short, which I think it's going to, but if for some reason it doesn't, then I'll flip to one of the banks. They're higher. Yeah, the market looks higher too. So, uh, is there anything that anyone else wants to look at? I did look at this FHN. Didn't rate it because GME is much, much better and wasn't crazy about it, but don't forget the Marcus closed Monday. Martin Luther King. So back in the room Tuesday. Infi, I looked at it. GMA rating, you yeah, gotta scroll up with all the numbers in the rating. 22 is the number, but if you come in late, you just scroll up. Uh, no, I didn't like this either. I don't usually like to do these ADRs. And actually, if I, like I said, my plan of action is do GME. And if that doesn't set up, I'm flipping right to the banks. So, I mean, the market's strong. The only way we're doing a short today is if it's good. The SPY can make a brand new all-time high today and go to 230. It's sitting here at 226.76. Uh, previous high was 228 something, 34. But the market could rally today and make a new high in a SPY. It's already did it in the queues. 125 is in sight here. Look at these look at these things. So, you know, I I taped the room yesterday and I remembered saying it after I went back and looked at Amazon. I can't do everything at the same time. We could have done an option in Amazon yesterday right into the open. At the same time, I was getting in the Hess, but I can't do everything at once. It was right there. So, uh, I did a little tutorial video, which was helpful, but I, I can't do everything at once when it sets up at the same time. But I remember saying in the morning, oh my goodness, this looks like it's going to break out. And, I, and I, don't even, I don't even know if I knew at that time, whatever time I said it, that it was actually gapping up. It was such a small gap up, but it, I said, this looks like it's going to break out. That's exactly what it did. So, these things are just so strong. And uh, I don't know. You know, somebody emailed me. Was it Sai? You know, I... I I haven't done any options trades at all this year. You know, we're not going to do crap. And this set up yesterday, but I was in my day trade short. You know, it's a lot to to do everything at the same time. So we're if I when I see one, I'll call one. If I don't, then I'm not doing any. I mean, it's I'm not going to chase this here now. But this would have been a day trade. HES had a big rally into the close, could very well follow through tomorrow, uh, today. Oh, where did Twitter go? Some of you did this yesterday. <clears throat> Oh, where did this go? 17 was it. Wow, it went to 17. That was the only target it hit. Then you had to exit it. Time of the day was into 10.15. Very interesting. All right, good luck, everyone. Good luck. We'll see what we get. I'm just going to, here, I'll put the Wells Fargo. I will Fargo go in the middle here just in case this does set up. I will call this. This is a long, this is a short. 
I'm not doing this unless this doesn't set up. I'd rather short. But if this sets up, I'll call it if you want to do both. <sighs> Look at the volume in this now. Wow. All of a sudden. I'm definitely going to give this a cushion because I really think it's going to have a spread. It's GME, just so you know. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna move off this because I want to know this looks okay. I'm staying with the GME, but Wells Fargo looks a little wild. Okay, I'm gonna give this a cushion here. I don't have the entry yet, but it looks fine. Okay, we're gonna do 25 by, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, just wait. <clears throat> No one should be in that anything yet. Okay, no one should be in anything yet, actually. Okay, no one should be in anything yet. There's nothing to do. This does it's gonna be that's not gonna be a small stop, I can tell you that. <clears throat> okay, stop's gonna be 95. Let's do 42 by 95. 42 by 95, GME. I figure this would be 50 or 60 cents. 42 by 95, GME. And don't enter this until it hits. Because <sighs> it may not even hit there. <laughs> and if it doesn't, then I'll have a different thing. So just wait. It didn't hit. Okay, we're gonna do 49 by 95. 49 by 95 GME. I think this is gonna be it. 49 by 95. If it goes over the high, we're not gonna do it. No one should be in it yet. Can't jump the gun on these things. 49 by 95 is valid. Over the high, it's a raw off of it. I'll flip to something else, but Wells Fargo didn't set up. All right, let's see. Nope. 
Can't do it. Wow. Okay, let's see what we can get. Oh, this looks crappy. Boy, the banks don't look right in here yet. We didn't miss anything for these. We didn't miss anything for these at all. Okay, I'm not in anything. I can't do GME. It's not going to work. This flipped. Okay, I'm going to watch JP Morgan Chase. I'm not, I'm not in it yet. I'm not doing anything yet. I'm just going to watch it here and see. This is better than WFC. And this is going to be a long. Don't short GME. It's not going to work right. I'll go over it later. Okay, stop on this is going to be 86.80. I don't have the entry yet. Let's do 30 by 80. 30 by 80, JPM. Here, 30 by 80. Get the stop in. Sorry, that was fast. Here, so you can still take it right now. 86.80. 86.80. Here, you can get it right now. Right now. JPM, this is a long. It's a long, long, long. Sorry, that was quick, but you can still get it. I don't even have the targets for this. Here it goes. All right. We're going to make money today. I'm on the ball. Target on this is $90. $90 today in JPM. Wow, 90 bucks. All right, let's see. Let me look at the market. It is going to hit $90 today. Wow. Here, QQQs, 125, SPY. All right, we're in a long. We're in a long, and this, this, this I just off of. I don't like the way it opened. I don't like what it did, and I'm not doing it, and obviously I decided to do this. I'm going to give you all the targets. JPM targets, 88. Oh, we're finally going long. We could have gone long all week stuff. Here, you can still do this. I'm going to go to the other banks. This set up too, but I just thought I liked JPM better. So Wells Fargo set up. I just decided I wanted to do this instead. And uh, this was this was going to be a, a a big stop too, the WFC, and I think JPM has a bigger target. In fact, it does. So, uh, where did this go? Wow, big move up in here. I don't like the way it opened. This did crash and fall. I just don't know if it goes red. That's the problem. I don't like the way it traded in here. So I'm not going to do this. I'm going to follow my rules. I didn't like it, and I'm not going to call a trade in it. If you did it, you're on your own, but I don't really like the way it, it acted here. So I didn't do it. I opted to do this, and I've got the market with me here. So let's get out of half up to the next number, up to 88, and then we'll see where it goes into 10 o'clock. We got it. We got more than 20 minutes. guess we were destined to go along something this week. <clears throat> On a Friday, Friday the 13th, looks like a good day to go long. <laughs> Does seem apropos. Here, you can still do this. I really didn't even have to give this as big of a stop as I did, but longs are sometimes wild. Any questions from anyone? Anybody and anything else? You can still do this. Here we go. JPM. 88 is the next number. Look, this is going to break out. This looks like a breakout right in here. Here we go. JPM. Whew. Had my coffee today. This just doesn't look right. That's too bad. All right. Here we go. JPM. You could put an order out to take half out of 88. I'm just going to kind of watch it. I think I really think this goes to $90 today. Actually, if it goes to 88, here, well, here. All right, this is. Just... 
In fact, if this goes up to 89 right away, which it might, I'll just, I'm just going to take the whole thing. <clears throat> Here it goes. Wow. Nice call. Did everybody do it? Wow. Here it is. Here it is. Here, let's look at the market. Wow. Well, I had a good plan of action today. As soon as GME didn't work, I was going to flip right to the banks. Gotta have a secondary plan of action. 87.60. You could could have shaved a little tiny weeny bit off there if you wanted to. Here, let's give it one more push into 9.45-ish before we take any off. Let's see if we can get it. One more push up over 88. Then you could take the whole thing. You could take half. You could you could do whatever you want. <clears throat> Wells Fargo went. Let me see what this thought would have been. Yeah, I just, uh, JPM just has a much, 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 much bigger target. Galahad's in it, okay. Here we go, here we go. New high in JPM. Over 60? Here. <laughs> Beautiful. Here we go. And that's what institutional buying looks like. There you have, look, that, there it is, it's right now. That's what buying looks like. The stock is getting bought. It's up, 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 up and away. There it is, that's what it looks like. You're seeing it. It's gonna go all day probably. 71. Here it goes, look at this beautiful thing. Here, have your hand in the button to take half out of this soon, at least. I think I'm going to take the whole thing because it could pull back steep and then set up again. And I don't want to deal with that in a Friday here. Let's just try. I'm going to get out of the whole thing and I'll tell you when. And then I'll answer your questions. But I really think this goes to $90 today. Here, come on. Let's get it over 88. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Here, here, here. Here goes. Oh man, what a nice move. Wait. Okay, one more. One more push. I'll look at that. I'll look at your writing then, Gator. I'll look at it. Look at it later. I just hold on. Trying to get this over. One more push. Come on. Here we go. This is going to do it. In the 9.45. What a nice call. Boy, I flipped quick on this one. Didn't waste any time today. One more push and I'm just going to take it all. It's too good of a move. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. It's having too much of a hard time getting over the number. It still could go. Here, it's going to go right now, but I took it. I didn't want it to just collapse like 50 cents. Here, I, I'm out. I, I took it. Here, it's probably going to do it now, though, but it just, it just, it just, it just it's just having too much of a hard time. 
Here, there it goes. Ah! I'm already out though. Crap! There. This is the exit though in the morning. I took it like five seconds too soon. It just looked like it was struggling with the number. But there, I just did it. I would be out though. What a great call. Here, this is what I didn't want to happen to me. Wonderful. Great job, everyone. I mean, you could put a, a, a stop. Well, here, it would have hit it. I was going to say 92 or 89. See, see, this is, you, this is profit taking here. So I didn't want to get caught in that. But you had to get out in this far, wherever you did. Where, where I did, a little bit push up. It was struggling with that 88 number. Well, that was the, that was the number here. Hi, John said, great job, thank you. Gosh, it's so easy to train when we get good stuff and it's so easy for me to see it. I just, oh, I don't wanna train anymore when stuff is crap. I don't ever wanna trade anymore. I don't, if I see it, we're just gonna do it and we'll risk more money. If I don't see anything, I just, I can't, I do not want to do stuff that isn't so obvious to me. And it was so obvious to me this morning, even when I saw these banks gap down and I said, these banks are not gonna fall today. This is ridiculousness. I know they're not gonna fall, they're longs. And then Wells Fargo flipped. And then JPM actually wasn't even gapping this morning. I was like, did this report? And then I actually went online to check to see if it even reported. It did end up gapping up, but this morning it didn't do anything. Look, it was, it was, it was neutral. It didn't even do anything. And I thought that's really weird, but it went. Just knew that it would go. Let me get this off. I'm done. But this, this is JPM is going to go to ninety dollars today. If it doesn't today, it will next week. I mean, it's, that number is in sight. But that was too big of a move, too quick, too fast, too aggressive. I even gave that more of a cushion that was necessary. I didn't even get it going to get taught in a bouncy tail like what happened here. So this is for the reason I gave the stop here. This is still going. Wells Fargo. Did anyone do this? And I didn't give you the answer for this. I just said you could do them both. But this was what I didn't want to happen with this. Wow, this is still going. If you are still in this, I would put the stop at 87.75, but I really would be out of at least 50% or 75%. I took the whole thing because the move up was too big, too fast, too quick, too aggressive. Sue made money on GM, JPM and GME. How ironic what? Missy did a long on a Friday the 13th. That's what I said. Do, 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 do. Should we play the Twilight Sound? <laughs> Flat JPM, yeah, Melissa. You're the best. Play the option in J. Oh, you played the option on JPM. Oh, there you go. Uh, Gator said you jumped the gun in GME, but the Lord blessed you with profit. <laughs> Let's go look at it. How did the Lord bless you with the profit? You, you shorted this. I, I said, don't jump the gun in this. Don't jump it. Don't. And then after this, I said, wait a minute, I'm not going to call this short. I still don't like it. Somebody's not right. It doesn't look good. It looks really strange. I never called the short in it then. What did you end up doing and how did you make money? I'm not sure what you did here then to, to damage control yourself out, Gator. It is so easy. You need to get the class a few more times. Yeah, you will. Uh, what else? Here. Look, let's just go over this. I loved it. I liked it. What was the problem? That it fell so hard into the first target in the open? Probably. I didn't anticipate that when I rated it, but I did put the targets. This is GME. It was a short. What happened here? I walked away and then I came back. It pummeled right into the first target that I written down almost within 25 cents, 22. I do think that was a problem. And the bullishness in the market, which everyone knows. Anyways, to make a long story short, that it opened, it looked okay, it looked okay, it looked okay, and then all of a sudden it's reverse swishing, so you can't do it. So that's why I never ended up recalling it here. But this is a watch for Tuesday. Remember, Mondays the market's closed. Where did this go? 88.17, $90, JPM. On a big, big day, the stock can move. Let's figure it out. three dollars plus so it all makes sense i mean that number is going to get hit you shorted it at 63 and sold it in the 50s you're talking about gme you shorted it at 63 oh i see you did get lucky here boy you did have a little guardian angel <laughs> and actually you would have really had to be quick on the draw because this was a bouncy tail thing when it broke 50. 
If that ever happens to you again or anybody else, that you do something, you get caught in it, and obviously you didn't have to stop, which was another problem because it could have flown up to 24. But anyways, the bottom line is it never triggered. Gator realizes he shouldn't have done it. But if that ever happens, don't even worry about getting out with profit. Just try to get out with a small loss of break even once you realize you did something wrong. This was, you got lucky you made money in this. This is what I didn't want to have happen over here. So this is going to pull back deep now, and it'll set up again. If I want to do JPM one more time, what time frame would I look to have it set up? Not the one minute. So probably the five, but it may not be a normal setup. So this may not pull back for 15 minutes. So I can watch it here, and I'll tell you. Let's look at the market first. Market looks great. Everything looks amazing. This is going skyrocketing. Discipline, dude, I, I don't know. I don't know. You have to ask your broker. If that means you didn't have enough shares. Or maybe you're, you can't take up stock over a certain price point. Maybe ask that because it wasn't expensive. 15-minute setup, I think, would be late. Five minute would be better. A 15 minute pullback would be very, very too deep or too steep in JPM, but I'll look at it. Let me just look at Microsoft. You know, you got lucky. It was tempting to short of the higher value. You're a mistake. Yeah, it's not about getting it cheap. It's about getting it at the correct entry that you're going to immediately go profitable into the trade, which we do so often here. I mean, look, this is a great example today. We, we got it. We couldn't have got it at a better time. I'm so glad that I just went, boop, done, flip. <clears throat> How come dropped when I spoke? I don't know if maybe you, you couldn't do this because it was a high price point. You have to ask the place you're trading at. Sometimes they don't let you take a trade if it's over $50 stock symbol at some prop places. So you have to find out. This was expensive. I don't know if you took too many shares or what you did, but you can email them and find out. So you're going to have the banks strong this year. In 2017, I don't know when I'll have time, but I'll have to write some kind of letter or thing about the year and maybe do the stock market class again. Maybe that's what I should do. The, 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 the market isn't going to go without the banks. This is not going to happen. So the banks are driving forward. They look stronger than the market, actually. And, and you're going to have the banks go. Look at if you have bought this gap here in, in JPN. November, I don't remember the reason for this. Was it earnings? Here, let's look it up. I'm going to look this up really quickly. 11.9. No, that was the, that was the election. Here, hold on. find anything out 119 just trying to find out why uh, JPM gapped up on 119 just give me a minute here It was some kind of upgrade, I think. And the election. Yeah, those two things. So this was an aggressive move here. There was some news and different things, and then the election. Look where the stock has gone since then. It's two months. So this was 11.8, as it's 70 bucks. It's gone eight, more than $18 in two months. 
from those gaps. Look at that. Woo, did we get a good exit on this? Holy crap. Is anybody still in this? I, I thought to myself, wait a minute, what am I thinking? Let's just take it and get the quick money today. It's Friday. And so I decided to get it all out over here. But look, the pullback I, I thought would be deep. We'll just see where it holds. Is anybody still in this? Oh, fast money is always the easiest. What happened to Twitter? This is still lower, but not today. What happened to this? Nothing really. What happened to this one here? Looks weird. And I think we did the best one. All right, uh, I don't know where this sets up. I'll keep watching it, but honestly, the five minute are here. Look at this, look at this. It's all profit taking, profit taking, profit taking. Eighty-seven seventy-five trail stop would have triggered, yeah. But you know, it's a little bit different in longs where you take it. You got to get out into the into the momentum. It's different from shorts. And I talk about this more in the bullish gap class. I haven't done that for a while. I'll do that sometime, probably in the spring. Same thing with the options. You got it. You got it. You got it. You can't wait till it pulls back. When you're doing the options, when you're taking profit in options, I'm not an optionist, but I'm just giving you an example. You, it, it, the price will, the price just collapses. It almost goes, it's like a balloon where you just you let the air goes out, it goes pfft. So you can't wait for that really to happen. And that's what I thought might happen here. So I just got out here. I mean, big deal. This might set up here, let's see. Did anybody not do this? Did anybody do anything else? Here, you can go long this if you want with a stop at 87.30. I'm just calling it. 87.30. You can go long right in here. You can wait to 70, 75. Stops 30. I'm giving it to you. If it breaks 87.30, it actually, you shouldn't go long it the rest of the day. I don't think that's going to happen. Here, you can go long JPM again right here. I just gave you it. Stop 87.30. If it breaks 87.30, I wouldn't even actually. Actually, put it at 87.25. Just give it a little bit more of a cushion for a taily thing. But if it breaks 87.25, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go long it the rest of the day. I don't think it's going to happen, but there you go. This is valid. Because if it's strong, it should keep going right over the high. I don't think it's going to set up right over here on the 15 minute. And I think this is going to set up, but I just cheated the entry for you a little bit. Because of time of the day. And also the area. And this thing here looks strange. And let's see what we have next week. I'm gonna look at what's out next week. And write in the room if you have any questions. Write in the room if you didn't do anything. Write in the room if you did do something. Write in the room if you're in a good mood. Um, let's see. So two, Monday the market's closed for Martin Luther King. Tuesday could be slow as beans. Let's look. January 17th. No, there is a couple things. Morgan Stanley's out Tuesday morning. All right. So there's a few things. There's a few. After the close on Tuesday, ADTN, CSX, LTC, UAL, Citigroup's next week, GS. Here, let's look at that. Let's look at that quickly today. Ooh, Netflix is next week. Hold on, let's look at Netflix. Let's look at Netflix. Let's look at Goldman. Goldman's probably flying today with JPM. You're in a good mood, you want to be in a better mood. Ranch Trader is in a good mood. Hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. You're trying to follow. I guess it just takes time. It's kind of hard to follow you after the open. We just take trades without reviewing them or rating them. I've been, I've been, I put them in the room discipline, Dave. 
I always put it in the room. What time did you sign in? No, I have not been going through full on reviews. I haven't done that for long years. I know you've been away for a while, but I just say what I'm doing. I just say what I'm doing and we trade and I review it afterwards. I put the rating in the room though. If you sign in late, you have to scroll up, but you can always ask me. I did tell you it was 22 today, but it never set up. But no, I, I haven't reviewed them for, before the open in years. It's at least two and a half years. I just realized that I trade better if I talk less before I trade. And then we talk after I trade. There's two people. It's Teacher Missy and Trader Missy. Trader Missy is better not talking or the least amount of talking before the open. I just spit whatever comes out of my mouth what I see. But the teacher person comes out after we're done trading. It's two different sides of my personality. You have haven't been here for a while. All you have to do is a trade when I call it. And we can review later. But this, this, honestly, honestly, I don't know if it goes red today. It's trying. It's desperately, desperately trying. But you do have to get in here early enough to see the ratings. Sometimes I post them early. Today, oh, I, I don't know what time I posted it. I'll go back and look. Uh, but I wasn't planning on doing anything other than GME as the short. Uh, I knew that if I didn't see that, that I would want to go long one of the banks. Here, this is definitely going to be solid here over 80. You can go long JPM again, 80 by 30, 50 cents. The only reason you do this is if you think it can make another new high. Target is 89 for the next number. Let's look at Goldman and Netflix, and then I'll answer the rest of the questions. Gator's in a good mood. You should be because you got saved by the bell today. How did we hang in there with HES? What do you mean HES worked? Weren't you here? HES worked. Didn't you make money on that yesterday? We'll go over that in a minute. Uh, this just rallied with everything else, but this looks good. Uh, Netflix. I posted GME at 8.48 this morning. All right. Let's look at this. I haven't looked at this in a long time. What do we have to go over? Forget. Uh, Susanna, yeah, it, Susanna, yeah, if you want to. You just got to get it back to me today. That's fine. Did you do any trades or just watch this week? Oh, HES, we're going to go over. Gator, I gave this a wide stop. And the reason I did was because it was a late gap. It had huge volume coming into it very, very late, right before the open. And, and it was wild and it was whippy and it did open and swoosh. And I have traded the stock before and it can flip around like a crazy bird. And so I didn't want to get dinged out of it. If I tell you to put the stop in a certain place, you got to put it. And if it's wider than I would normally, which was the case here today with the JPM and also this, it, then put it where I tell you to put it. The bottom line is that I saved us by the bell by giving us the wide stop in this. I don't do that all the time, but the reason I do, whatever I do, is a reason that I see something. So put it where I tell you. You know, in the morning when these things are opening and trading and moving so quickly, the spread sometimes will move. It will be five cents or six cents or 10 cents or it could be one cents. You want to give it the widest amount. I'm talking about the difference between the bid and the ask. That's what the spread is. Right now, today, this is very, very mild because all the volatility has gone out of it. Again, like a balloon. And I would never go long this here today after that gap yesterday. But this is a two cent difference. Yesterday, it looked very, very different at 10.03 or whatever time it was. So I gave it a wide cushion. No one got stopped out of this if they had the stop where I did. Now, did some people... Did some people get nervous and jittery and jumpy? I don't know. To my knowledge, everyone made money doing this. If you didn't, you can cop to it now. 
But the bottom line is that this broke here dropped. If I had to rewind back in time, I would have gotten all out of it here. Instead, I waited, 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 and didn't take any more, but I did call a second train, and then we got it to break. So what, what I, going back in time, I should have taken it all out of here and retaken it and got all out. So I was a little patient, but I wasn't, I wasn't nervous about it because of the swoosh. But it did have a big bounce. In fact, where, what time did that bounce? Okay, good, Susanna. When, oh, did you kill it, Gator? Or you didn't do this yesterday? You had to go? Yeah, it was. It was very close to the stop. It, it absolutely was. But look how good I am. <laughs> we stayed in it. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the magic of the universe that I live in. Uh, this bounced off of 55.65. This is all profit taking in here, short covering here. It, this looks like it started to get bought around here. 58, 58.20. Let me just look at the daily. I mean, I thought this could go to 55 yesterday. But see how the 50 pair moving average on the daily chart? Uh, here, here's here, right in here is where it started to really lift. Did anybody try to do that another time? Because the morning was it, and I was glad I took it. Here, where did this go? Here, wow. I, John, did it again. Anybody else? Secondary trade to the JPM, $90. I don't know if it gets here today, but it, it very well could. But it's going to get it over the high again. Look how beautiful. Wow. See, the 15 minute, I kind of had a feeling wouldn't pull back deep enough. And I'm glad I called this in here where I did. If this isn't, it's, this is just going to be a Jimungo stop, but it's really not going to do, it's going to be a sandwich. It's going to be a cheese sandwich where this is the bread and this is the cheese and this is the bread again. It's not going to pull back right for 15 minutes, but it did do this. So that worked. Um, hold on. Oh, you didn't do HES at all? Why? This was the best short gap we had all of the, of the whole week for Pete's sakes. And I, again, I said, I don't think it's any, I don't think it's any surprise that we ended up going long today. The market was very strong all week. Um, oh, whatever happened with the asthma? Oh, you didn't do it, I, John? You didn't do the second trade? I thought you wanted to do JPM again. Look at this. Somebody remind me about this next week. This still hasn't fallen and broke, but it look how it's still weak. So the market's rallying, the market's making new highs. This is still weak. It didn't fall through here. It didn't fall through the next day. It's trying to break. It's not ready yet. This is this is gonna go. Where did Tiva go? You waited too long? I called it just for you. In fact, I called it, I called it early. Uh Tiva is doing something here that looks actually pretty good. Look at this. So Tiva is still weak. Look at that. Look at the market today, look at Tiva. Look at what this did from the gap from the Friday was one week ago. Look, 37 was the high the day of the gap. Look where it's at today, 34. And previous low over here, 33.56. $4 in a week. Here this goes. This is beautiful. You could still do this here if you want with a stop at 30 at 60 cents. You can scalp it to get it up over the high. You could probably get one R out of it. Did anyone do this? I called it for I, John. He hesitated. Did anyone else do this? Did anyone want to JPM again? Good for you. Did you do this the first time, Journey Woman? Journey Woman's having a good week. She's the one that gave us the HES yesterday. Good job. I wonder if I changed what I was doing and 
every day I would get up and when I would know something would work, I would do it. And I, when I wouldn't know, I wouldn't. I wonder how many days I would trade in a year. <clears throat> I mean, I have a system and I follow the system and the system works, you know, whatever it is, 70%, 75%, 80%, I don't know. It depends on the time of the year, I think, what my percentage is. Peter had tracked it and said it was over 80. But there are times where I feel like I just know. And and I think my, my, my win ratio would be higher if I only traded those days. Now, now there would be days that I would miss trades. It would rate well, it would go. There would be days that I would not make money, not lose, but not make money when things rate well and I wouldn't do them. But there's a, there's just there's some days that it's so different for me where I just know that something's going to work. And if I only traded those days where I knew no chance of failure with a shadow of a doubt and 100% conviction and no way it isn't going to work, if I only traded those trades, Options and equities. I wonder how much money I would feel comfortable risking and I wonder how much money I would make and I wonder how many days I trade in a year. I mean, it's, you know. I knew these would work today long. I knew they would work long when they gapped down. Yes, I understand buying power. If, you're, if you have 88,000 in the account, 88,000 in buying power, $8,800. Or what are you saying? If you have, if you have, if you're buying power, if you bought this stock today at 88, it took 1,000 shares, you would need 88,000 in buying power to take that position. Is that what you wanted to do? Yes, you should have been able to take that position. You have to find out if you have a restriction on stock price at the broker. If you're at a prop place, they may, because of this is kind of expensive. It's not over 100, but it's kind of expensive. This here I missed, I missed yesterday. I really, this was a miss yesterday for us to do as an option trade, but it said at the same time as HES, and I wish you would have done it. It was a huge, huge, huge trade. And by the time that I noticed it in the afternoon, it just completely, there was no way to do it. I would have done the 800s that expired today as a day trade. We would have bought it into the open and we would have held it, not till not to the dream target, but we would have held it till about 810, 8, 811, 812 ish. I did a video online if you want to watch it. This is, you know, just absolutely going like crazy. But this really broke out yesterday and I saw it was going to break out, but I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do it and I was a miss. But I think that last year in 2016, it was a, it, I was balancing out the options with doing the day trading. I was, you know, it's very difficult sometimes when they both set up the same time to take the entries or they both, you have to, I have to exit the day trades or the option trades at the same time I'm trying to take a new day trade. And I really, I really was, it was a balancing act last year for me to do that. I'm not in any options right now and I really wanted to wait until earnings season, which I'm going to do. So I haven't done anything over the holidays or whatever, but this was a good good move yesterday a good bullish gap you can go back and review it and learn from it huge profit almost 10 10 points profit you would have made on this yesterday we will get some of these this year but i don't know when and right now all of these things look so so insane every number i look at that i'm not sure i'm doing any of them into the earnings i may be waiting to do some of these trades after they report so i, I don't know what i'm doing but right now, there it's not cost effective to do anything in these. Yesterday it would have, but only as a day trade. But I did the HES. Okay. We had as good of a week as we could have had. It was very slow. We did the things that we could. I'm very glad that we closed out the week strong today with this. Some of you are back in it and it looks terrific. We're closed Monday for the holiday. Back here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to have a good earnings season. It starts next week. It kind of started today, I guess, with the banks. But we got Netflix next week. We got Goldman next week. We got lots of stuff. If you don't know uh, what the maximum uh, strike 
that you can take in a position in an equity trade if you're in a, if you have a prop account you got to find out you got to find out from the broker some of these things we trade are sometimes expensive not all the time but every once in a blue moon but you know this is not a wild stock here this jpm it's trades normal you can put in a stop and you'll get taken out and it has lots of volume it's kind of expensive but these banks trade normal they're not crazy so you know see what your restrictions are with the strike price okay All right, good job today, everyone. Any questions before we leave it? Solid, good day. Friday the 13th, did a long Twilight Zone. <laughs> do, 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 do. What's everyone's favorite Twilight Zone episode? Quick, right in the room before we go. Email me, Joary. What's your favorite Twilight Zone episode? Here, let's see if I can find the song. <laughs> My favorite is, what is my favorite? If there's so many, there's just so many, it's, <laughs> here's, here's, let me see if I can find, this is, this is one of my favorite. It's the, um, here, hold on. Here, this is one of my favorite episodes. Here, hold on. Well, what have we got here? The Mystic Seer. The what? Let's try it, shall we? What do we have? <laughs> Am I gonna be promoted for Pete's sake? It has been decided in your favor. I oh, love this. See, your worries are over. I think I'll phone. I made it. You're now looking at the world's youngest office manager. Let's ask him something else. He really came through on that one. Is it really going to be four hours before we get out of here? You may never know. You may never know. <laughs> you mean something will happen to us? If you move soon. Should we stay in here and, until three o'clock? There's like no question about it. Gets scary. Every answer seems to fit. You're joking, aren't you? I mean, there are no more. Something bad will happen to us? <laughs> Fear is running out. Don, let's go. What's that? Six straight answers. Oh, Don, please. Oh, stop treating me like a retarded child or something. <laughs> Exactly when that machine said, Will it still take four hours before the car is ready? <laughs> it has already been taken care of. And your car is ready. I don't want to stay here anymore, Don. Will they reach New York all right now? We always going to live in St. Louis. Are we going to live in the East? Are we going to live in the West? Are we going to live in this country? Don, let's go. No. Are we just going to stay here? I don't know. This machine is predicting our future. Do you think I could just walk away from it? You can decide your own life. I don't want to know what's going to happen. I want us to make it happen. Yes, we'll drive out of this town. And go where we want to go, anytime we please. Dawn, I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Do you think we might leave Ridgeview today? Is that is the out? best, the I best one. <laughs> That's my favorite Twilight Zone. Hold on. William Shatner looks so young there, too. Look at him. <laughs> it's so scary. Okay. You get the heebie-jeebies when you think of the Twilight Zone. That's the point of watching them. You know what's so great about watching them, too? It, he was so far behind uh, before his time. Uh writing those there's so many about aliens which is just hysterical i don't know when were when, when were they written the 50s or the 60s or the 40s i don't even remember when were they written uh 
it's it's the it's they're not scary because of blood and gore why things are scary now i don't like watching horror movies now it's the mind things about those episodes that were scary but he definitely was before his time writing those things but so so many of them are about aliens which is really funny the incurable ugly people are isolated with their kind yeah that one i forget what that one's called too and they're actually the beautiful people yeah I forget what that one's called, too. 50s and 60s. Yeah. All right, everybody. Great, great day. Solid day. Going to the weekend. Happy as clams. If you need anything, email me back. Okay? Okie doke. Have a good one. You're welcome.